Welcome back, everybody. Fall brings some great traditions, of course. Halloween, mm -hmm. hay rides, yep. Oktoberfest, yep. German food and beer. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good. In today's Cooking Corner, Market District Chef Ben D'Amico is helping us get ready for Oktoberfest with a few recipes featuring beer as the ingredient. That's right. This so so much fun. We're celebrating Oktoberfest uh, at Market District and I brought two of my kind of favorite new items that I've kind of stumbled upon and the first one that I'm going to do is the beer bread mix and this is available right. in a box mix. We have a monkey bread and a scone mix. These are brand new from Market District. You can find them at Giant Eagles as well and the reason I like them is I'm not a baker uh, but they're super easy to do. That's so I'm going to I'm going to show you how easy it is okay. and I'm going to let you mix. So I emptied the contents of the packet That's it. and it's so easy because really it is a stick of butter and a 12 ounce bottle of beer. Stop so it. That's all that's it is it? and it comes out really well. Is, so this, is this the butter? The butter but that's going to add at the top instead. So we're going to oh. just add the beer into it and if you could just mix that. Here I'll pour you mix. All right I'll mix. Let's, let's tag team this. We're we tag, yeah awesome and yeah. the butter actually goes on top so you just want to add all the beer um, and Does then it matter that it's fizzing? No, it's actually good. So you can you want to use beer because of the carbonation is going to help it rise. Okay. Um, if you didn't want to use beer, uh, which adds a great flavor, you actually cook out the alcohol when you bake it. You can use seltzer water mm -hmm. or any uh, or club soda. So that gives that same effect um, that it will help it rise and uh, bake. So that's all the beer does other than add flavor. Is John doing a good he job? He is doing a good job. Yeah, and you just want to mix it until <laughs> it's kind of slightly um, together. So until all the flour is kind of gone away. You don't want to yeah. over mix these because it, it can puff up okay. in your in your um, oven. Okay. That looks really that good. That looks good. Yep. Stop. So, yep, stop. And we're going to grab the loaf pan and you want to use a uh, you want to rub it with butter or spray? I've been called. That? I've been called I that did? before, by the way. What butter or spray? <laughs> Loaf pan. Loaf oh. pan. <laughs> and you just want to pour that right in. <laughs> I want to make sense to be called butter or spray. That's that's no. a, a like a sweetheart name. Right. Huh? <laughs> I um, call you butter. And you. then okay. we're just going to add in the uh, just top just that, right that off. with the butter. Yeah. That is so easy. And. That just goes in a 375 degree oven for okay. about 50 to 60 minutes. The only thing I want to caution is you want to make sure you use a larger loaf pan. You don't want it to bubble over. Right. So sometimes this is actually a fairly big size one, like a meatloaf style pan. That's what you want to use for your, your bread. So we're going to pop that in the oven. And I did this one earlier today. So this is what it looks like when it's all wow. said and done. That really is so easy. So what does all the kids? beer get baked out of it? Uh, yes, it does. So there, the alcohol Boiled gets baked, baked off. So you definitely get the beer taste. So I prepared you a slice I did earlier. It's room oh, temperature. Sure. Yeah. Um, and give that a try. You're definitely going to taste the beer. Um, but the alcohol again was cooked out of that one. Thank you. It's it's really like spongy. It is spongy. It's, it's great. a little dense. Yes, and and it's great for our next item, our beer cheese. Mm. But again, just oh, a little bit good. of butter on top, um, mm -hmm. maybe a little couple of meats. It's not like a sandwich bread, but it's just it's a great nice tasting bread. It would actually make really nice croutons too right. if you cut it up and put it off the top it is of soup. Nice. So let's get, move on to the cheese. We're, we're gonna, gonna go on to the cheese. So beer cheese. This is yes. I gotta say, this is not my recipe. This is my mother-in-law Diane's recipe. Oh. So this is where this comes from. Um, your you're getting in good with your mother-in-law. Yeah, I'm getting in good with my mother-in-law. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So. So this is where I kind of got this from, but I modified it a little bit. So it's very mm. easy. It starts out with eight ounces of uh, cheese spread. Okay. I used the BNL, a local product. Um, there's a couple others in the store. If you don't want to use that, you can use eight ounces, like a block cheese. Put it in a food processor till it kind of really purees, and then okay. start with that. So we have our room temperature cheese, and then eight ounces of cream cheese. Mm -hmm. okay. That's going to be the base, and. It's softened, or you want to put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Just it's going to make it easier for our next couple steps. Okay. So add that, and then what I like to do is a little salt, pepper, garlic, and nutmeg. Okay. So this just nutmeg. gives a nutmeg. Yeah, it's that little. What is, what is that kind of? Nutmeg is a little. It's a nut spice, and yep. it kind of has. It's you find it a lot in uh, like pumpkin spice and stuff. It's a very fall festive mm -hmm. um, kind of spice. So. Hmm. A little bit of hot sauce, Tabasco, or you like hot, right? I do. Get a little bit to this, and then um, a little bit of cheese, uh, mustard, Dijon, or whole grain or brown spicy works very well. And what you want to do is you want to start to cream it. So you want to use a mixer, hand mixer. You can do this in the food processor too. <laughs> <laughs> Shield me, <John. laughs> So wow. you want to get it. Fairly good. You want to. It just takes about two or three minutes, but then you want to add in uh, beer. So about four ounces of beer. Your favorite. Any okay. any flavor works. Whatever mm -hmm. you like to drink. Dark, light, pilsner, could you do lager. Flavored beer. You could. I, feel like I did it with pumpkin beer the other day, and it was delicious. Really? Yeah. So okay. uh, it's just whatever you have at the house that you prefer to drink. Um, and about four ounces for this recipe. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shield you again from this. Yep. Just my. <laughs> Hide me. 
<laughs> I can't believe it didn't splatter more than it did. I, I know. I was very were... cautious. So this is going to bind together. This is going to bind together. You're going to need about two more, three more minutes to whip it together. It will become perfect. And what you will have is this So you mix that cheese mat. together and all of a sudden you have a platter? You will have a platter, yes. This is, this is how Get great out. this recipe is. The magic of television. <laughs> so you have, this is uh, just put together like an Oktoberfest kind of platter. Some potato pancakes, some radish, some bratwurst, yep. some pickles, mm -hmm. uh, pumpernickel bread. You absolutely can, yeah. Okay. So what should um, get dipped in there what, uh, and what shouldn't? Anything. It's all right. dippable. Can the meat? Yeah, the meat. It's kind of a, a nice fun way on like a German charcuterie plate, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, it's great just with pretzels. Um, we got these, you know, there's tons of different pretzels out there but uh, mm -hmm. you taste the beer um, if you didn't want to use beer you could use a uh, wine it actually works well as a wine cheese as well um, mm. or you can make the recipe and not put any beer in and maybe use some cream um, again thickness depends on are they good mm -hmm. if you want it a little thicker you mm -hmm. can add a little less beer or a little less liquid if you want it a little thinner maybe mm -hmm. make it into a sauce or a soup just add some more cream or chicken stock my last question for you is how did you get this from not like getting um, crusty you know how uh, airtight container. Okay. That's the secret. Airtight right. container, wrap it, seal it. Um, works you know, very it well. You know, it's harden at the top. Yeah, I don't know if it's because the processed cheese. Maybe it's not doing that. This has been sitting in there for about an hour, so it hasn't done that. I guess if you whip it well enough, again, it's going to take four to five minutes to really incorporate all the, okay. the products together, and it will be very nice. Mm -hmm. Again, if you let it sit out for four four hours, it's going to get that crust just like yeah. everything will on top of it. Yeah. But just an airtight container. Uh, wrong with it's that. great at cold room temperature, or it's if perfect. you wanted to heat it up as well, it's perfect. Thank right. you so much, Chef. Thank you. So Good stuff. All right, for a copy of today's recipes and you want them, go to kdka.com slash PTL. And thanks to Giant Eagle for sponsoring the Cooking Corner here every other Tuesday on Pittsburgh Today Live.